The points X and Y, 90 meter apart, are on the same side of a tree. The angles of elevation of the top T of the tree from X and Y on the horizontal ground with the foot of the tree are 43 degrees and 38 degrees respectively. I illustrate the information in a diagram. I, I find correct to one decimal place the height of the tree. Solution. First, the I part of the question said we should illustrate this on a diagram. Illustrate this on the diagram. So I have this. Let me illustrate this. We have the tree with a top T. Now we have a horizontal of the tree. Horizontal of the tree. Now at one point, angle of elevation, angle of elevation of two point. Uh, let's call this point point. We have point X and point Y point X and point Y now if we have uh, point X to be 43 and we have point Y to be 38 so we're going to have something of this nature Extend this then we have another elevation Okay, so we are going to have this. So we we'll call this point, let's call this point point X and call this point point Y. Let's call this point anything. Let's call it point, maybe point U. Let's call this point point U. Now, this, the angle of elevation here of point X is 43 degrees. Angle of elevation to this top of the tree. Now, the angle of elevation of this point is point is uh, 38 degrees so the angle of elevation here is 43 degrees angle of elevation here is 38 degrees now this x and y these two points are 19 meter apart 19 meter apart so from year to year is 19 meter apart so let me uh, put something like this 19 meter apart that is 19 meter so that would be let me make an arrow to connect that so from x to y the distance between two of them is 19 meter apart so we have this and we have answered the first part of the equation by representing this on a diagram for the ii the question said find correct to one decimal place the height of the tree the height of the tree so let's attach some more things to this diagram the height of the tree let's say from here to this point is the height of the tree since this is the tree top this is the tree top now we also need to do something because we are going to be considering two triangle here the bigger triangle this 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 point and we'll consider this smaller triangle in here so let's get uh, let's name a distance from here to this point from here to this point let's call it uh, maybe let me call it n let me call it n from here to this point let's call this n so that we use that to calculate the small triangle we have here now since that is settled now let us make a statement considering considering let's consider the bigger triangle first considering uh, triangle U T Y. That is, we are considering triangle U T Y, which the whole triangle. And if we do that, we are going to have tan 38 degrees to be equals to. Remember, tan, we are considering this because we have this to find and we have this. So we can use the sign since hypotenuse, we don't have anything for the hypotenuse. We can equally use cosine because we don't have anything for the hypotenuse here. So we have business with the opposite here. We have business with the adjacent. So we use this and this. This is the opposite of this angle. This equally the opposite of this angle so that we can equate them. So we can have that tan 38 degrees. Opposite, we have opposite H adjacent. Adjacent for this big, 
this big triangle is from year to year. So from year to year is N, and from year to year is 19. That is N plus 19. That's that distance from year to year. Okay, so we are done with that. And we just, all we need to do is just to cross multiply our, this over one if you like, so that H times one, we have H equals to than 38 degrees than 38 degrees into n plus 19 n plus 19 that is this time this cross multiply so we have this for the first case now let's go to the second case considering considering angle triangle considering triangle u t x this triangle considering this one triangle u t x so we are considering that now well, we have that uh, tan because we are still using tan now this opposite over adjacent tan 43 degrees is equals to h which is the opposite and our adjacent is n here so all over n so that our h will be equals to this time this that is n than 43 degrees so that is what we have there that's what we have there and we are making good progress so let's move on now the next thing we want to do now since this is the height here, this is also the height. H is equal to H. We can now say that thus, this will be equal to this. That is, tan 38 into N plus 19 is equal to N tan 43 degrees so this is equal to this now let's get uh, our tan 38 degrees tan 38 degrees to four decimal place we have 0 0.78131313 one, three. so that is what we have into n plus 19 then we have tan 43 degrees and 43 degrees is 0 0.9312. Okay, two, two, five, two, five. Can I use a table to do that or use a calculator? Then times our n. So we have this. Now the next thing we just need to clear off these brackets. So 0 0.7813 times n. We have 0 0.7813 n plus we use this to multiply 19 as well multiply 19 we have 14.8447 that will be equals to what we already have here 0 0.9325 n okay color like terms we take this over to this side since this is 0 0.9 this is 0.78 so let's take this to this side and this will remain here so that we have uh, 14 point eight four four seven this will be equals to we have our zero point nine three two five n minus zero point seven three one uh seven eight seven eight rather seven eight one three n one three n so we have that so we are just moving this to this side now if you do that you have your 14 14 point eight four four seven that will be equals to now zero point 
9325N minus 0.7813N. If you do that, you are going to have 0 0.1512N. This is what you have. You have this. Now divide both sides by the coefficient of n. Divide both sides by 0 0.1512. Our n will be equals to 14.8447 divide by 0 0.1512, which will be equals to, when you divide this, you will be having 98.1792. This is what you'll be having when you divide that. Now, don't forget that we have our value, we have h, equation for h here. So, if you take this so that we can find our height, our h will be equals to, don't forget our h is, can say therefore, our h is equals to n times 43 degrees. So we have our n is 98.1792 times our tan 45 degrees or 43 degrees. So let's rewrite that tan 43 degrees. So this will be equals to 98. One nine eight point one seven nine two. I'm just rewriting this so that times than forty five de forty three degrees is zero point nine two nine three rather nine three two five. Now, by the time we multiply this, when we multiply this, we are going to have we are, we are going to have. When you multiply that, you will have 91.5521 meter. 21 meter. So you have that. Now, this will be equals to approximately, approximately 91.5521. 6 91.6 because 5 is rounded up 5 will be rounded up to get 1 so 5 plus 6 5 plus uh, 1 we have 6 and 6 meter so this is to the one decimal place this answer is to the one decimal place that was required so I can say 1 dp 1 dp so that is the one decimal place so let me bring up that. Let me bring up this so those who did not see it very well. That our H, I'm bringing up that. Our H is equals to 91.6 meter. And that is one decimal place. One decimal place. So that is the answer to this question. Okay, I'll advise you to go over this and make sure you understand it better and make sure you get every part of it. Okay, see you again in the next video where we are going to solve the next uh, past question based on this uh, subject. So, see you again.